Hey, this is Jeff Bat with Kinetic Media, and welcome to part six of the jQuery Mobile and Dreamweaver courses. And in this one, we're going to talk about grid layouts. Now, grid layouts is a nice way to be able to lay out different uh, objects and uh, your pages and uh, text blocks and anything like that you may have um, easily that is also adjustable. So when you go to the different screen sizes, it automatically takes up uh, a portion without having to uh, resize it or even worry about resize or anything like that. So simply put grid layouts are on one page that you can insert uh, different blocks now you'll notice in the uh, this picture with the uh, iPhone we have block one comma one and then we have block one comma two that means this is row column or this is row one and then it's column one and column two now over on the uh, right hand side in the yellow boxes you'll notice block A and block B and then also I mean that's the ability that you have is to be able to have multiple different columns in the uh, example on the iPhone we only have two columns um, and on the example on the right where we have the, the three boxes we actually that's an example of three columns now you can actually go up to five columns wide but the number of rows you can actually have as much as you want so you can have uh, multiple different rows with multiple different heights as well uh, but the across you can only uh, have at least uh, five columns at the most but it changes from two three four and five and uh, hopefully one of those fits the different layouts that you want but in this uh, tutorial we're going to be going over how to use inside a Dreamweaver how to insert some of these grid layouts and how to use them inside so like I mentioned before um, the grid the different grids you have uh, the two columns um, you can have again as many rows as you want but you can have two columns you can also grid B is having three columns grid C is having four and grid D is having five now this actually shows you how much space this will take up on your screen so if you're using a two column grid A then it will actually each column will take up 50 percent of the space now if, if you're using grid B each column will take up 33 percent of the space available and that depends on the screen real estate so if you have an iPad in landscape mode it's going to have more space to work with than the iPad in the um, in portrait mode uh, and then same thing with the iPhone it's going to have more space when you're in landscape mode than in portrait mode or it's going to have less space than it is on the uh, iPad and so grid C is each column takes up 25% and grid D to each column takes up 20% of the screen real estate <clears throat> so let's go into uh, Dreamweaver and let's show you how to actually insert one of these grids inside of your course so I'm going to come down to one of my pages right now I'm on page 2 on my first page just has a list view but on my second page I'm going to come down to the content area now I'm going to insert my cursor in this content area because it's important inside a Dreamweaver whenever you're inserting objects to make sure that you insert your cursor in that location that you want it to be we don't want it in the header obviously and we don't want it in the footer we want it in the content area so I'm going to insert that and then I'm going to come over to the third button on the right and when I hover over it, it's going to say jQuery Mobile Grid. I'm going to select that, and then it's going to pop open with a jQuery Mobile Layout Grid. Now, it allows me to insert a certain number of rows. So if I select rows, uh, right here, the max drop-down box is five, but really, you can have unlimited number of rows. jQuery doesn't limit you on that. It's just in Dreamweaver, you'll actually have to manually add those in afterwards. Uh, but in the columns, the maximum number of columns that you can have in jQuery as well is five. So keep that in mind. So I'm going to have, let's go ahead and just have two rows and then two columns per row. So I'm going to go ahead and, and from here, select OK. And you'll notice it starts me out with a div class. And you'll notice in the div class, it says UI grid dash A. Um, now that basically just says that this is my grid, but inside of the grid, I'm going to have different blocks. Now the first block is UI-Block-A, and this is labeled as Block 1, 1. Now I can really type in whatever text I want, so let me just go ahead and type in something. And I can do the same thing here. Now I can even insert images. So if I have an image I want to use, I can insert that here. If I want to bold stuff, I can also do, uh, you know, whatever HTML that I want to do. Let 
right inside of this grid from the uh, start of the block A or block B, whatever I wanted to. Now you'll notice if I come down to the next block, it actually says UI, uh, UI block A again. Well, the reason why is because this is on a completely different row. And that's how jQuery recognizes that it's on a different row. If I wanted to insert another column, for example, then I would need to come down here and start typing in div and then assign it a class of UI-block. And I need to assign it C because this is going to be a completely new column. And then type in some text. and uh, insert it there. But that's how you would insert another column if you wanted a column. But anytime you want it on a new row, you basically just repeat it. Um, repeat A, B, C up to D um, in there. And that's, that's pretty much it. So if I was to go ahead and come in and preview this, and so if I was to come into uh, my uh, sample file and just double click on the index file, I can uh, preview it right within uh, uh, Safari here. If I select it, you'll notice that um, right here says this is a sample. That's uh, column row one, column one. And this is a sample. I have the bold text right here. That is uh, row one, column two. And right below that, I have block two, one, and then block two, two right there. If I was to preview it on a phone as well, let's go ahead and preview this. I see the same thing, but you'll notice that with the Safari, it had a lot more room to work with, but with on the f on the phone, it's a lot more, it's a lot smaller, so it condenses it a little bit more because it's using just that 50% um, of each screen there. And if I was to switch to an iPad, for example, you'll notice it has a little bit more room to work with, and so it's going to automatically adjust on the iPad compared to the uh, iPhone or Android tablet or Android phone or anything like that. So that is how you get started with the grids inside of jQuery. Um, you can start inserting some more in the grid layouts, but also if you come to jQuery.com, let's go ahead and go to the home page and I'll show you how to get here, and you come down to the uh, widgets and scroll down to grids, it will give you the information that you need to know for these and you can also see that you can add a style height if you want the block to be a little bit wider. So let's go ahead and copy that and I'm going to add that inside of my tag here. I'm going to add a style height equals 120. Now if I come back here and come to uh, page 2, you'll notice that now I have a little, it's not as squished up. Now I have a little bit more room to work with inside of my grid. Um, maybe I don't need so much but let's go ahead and just change that to 50 and you can see it's a little bit more spaced out there. And I would have to add that style to um, all of my blocks or just assign it a class, add it in some CSS or something like that. Let's go back to the, uh, the layout here and this will just give you some examples of how you can put buttons into the different grids. It also gives you some examples how you can have multiple rows in the different grids as well. And then one of the new things is the grid solo class. Now let's go ahead and click on view source here. Now you notice the view grid solo class, it doesn't have an assignment of A or B or C or D. Grid solo is actually a way to identify uh, an object into its own kind, kind of grid, but it will take up the whole space basically. So you see UI block A, and then inside of that we just have a button right here. Um, and there's really, let's just type in some text. Update it. Um, actually I didn't save it there, but I can change it to whatever I want there and it should update automatically inside of here. So, but I can copy that grid or use that grid solo if I wanted to have, you know, a grid above it, but right next to or right below it have another grid section that it doesn't have two columns, it only has one column. All right, so that's how you get started with the uh, jQuery grid system inside of uh, Dreamweaver, using it inside of Dreamweaver, but also how you can manipulate it through the code as well uh, outside of the uh, Dreamweaver user interface.